serious what was the worst change in a person you saw at your high school reunion? Obviously she didn't make it to the reunion. But one of the sweetest and kindest girls in my class became a hooker. My best friend dated her 4 years in school. She got hooked on heroin, started turning tricks to pay for it, and was murdered. The saddest part was seeing what it did to her mom and dad, who are just wonderful people, and raising her daughter, that she never knew. The bastards who killed her dumped her in a ditch. Frick heroin man. And frick anyone who sells that death sentence. Edit, come to think of it, I don't think I'll be attending any other reunions. I've been to too many funerals of people I should be having a drink with instead. Our reunions are funerals now, and I've only been out of high school 15 years. As the evening wore on, it became apparent that the crazy fun party guy who seemed awesome at the beginning of the night was really the weepy alcoholic crying about having nothing left to live for. It was very depressing. One guy who was a total asshole to me apparently fathered children with several classmates in the first few years after school. Including both my ex-girlfriends. It would be funny if it wasn't so sad. A friend of mine was super smart. He had skipped a couple of years. He went to college and majored in engineering. He had a great job, lovely wife, and kids. A couple of years later he just dropped out of society. Moved to a tiny one room cabin off the grid. His wife thinks skipping grades and school messed him up. For most of his education he was 3 years younger than his classmates. Doesn't sound like much, but at that age it's a big difference. He was smarter than the older kids, and had no common interests. He didn't know many kids his own age, and didn't have much in common with them either. Everyone expected big things out of him, and the pressure finally got to him. He just got in his car after work one day and drove north. Didn't tell anyone. He married well. His wife was 100% supportive. He lived like a hermit for years, while she raised and supported him and the kids. A couple of times a year he'd show up for a visit. About 10 years later he just showed up one day with all his things, and moved back home. He works on a night crew cleaning movie theaters after hours. Everyone thought he was going to change the world. He was voted most likely to succeed. I think the expectations from everyone else led him to make decisions based on expectations, and not what he wanted. Great guy. Amazing wife. Good kids. I still can't believe he's cleaning theaters at night. This girl was one of the nicest people you'd ever meet. And not in that, oh, it'll be nice to you, so you are nice to me Mincert. No, she was just a genuinely nice person to everyone. But she was really sheltered. Like she wasn't allowed at school dances, no dating, no macute not, that she needed it, she was freaking gorgeous, no drama cast parties, no field trips, unless her parents were allowed to chaperone, no sleepovers, and all that jazz. Always dressed super modestly, my 10 year reunion was this year, and she was basically Skeleta, the red nose crack whore. I guess she went off to college, and went absolutely wild with her newfound freedom. Went right over the deep end, and never climbed back. Found out a girl I dated married a guy in Turkey, and they were both killed in the honeymoon hotel a few weeks after the wedding. I went to my 20 year reunion a few years back. The girl who organized the whole thing was, and is pretty, popular, and intelligent. She also turned out, to be a high level member of the Keith Rainier cult NXIVM which has been in the news lately. She was using the event to recruit people. Edit, damn this blew up, while I was on the plane. The girl is the daughter of one of the founding members, who I've known, since I was in elementary school. Never had the slightest clue about any of this until this reunion. Well, two classmates got married, and then one murdered their toddlers and killed himself. Just had our 20th, two people we could not locate, but both are known to be drug addicts and homeless. I hope they're both doing okay because they were good kids who had a hard upbringing. I went to high school with a disorganized but well-mannered kid who was pretty well known and not unpopular. He ended up dropping out of college to travel in Asia where he got into a bar fight, hit someone, and badly injured him. Spent the rest of his college years in a nation can't remember where prison. When I saw him at our reunion, he had a massive face tattoo and was using every racial slur known to man. Loudly. They were all pleasant. 
the surprise for me was two of the ultra stud guys now had some severe male pattern baldness. One guy tried to keep it going with an extremely thin forest on the top of his head looked awful, the other guy just shaved it clean looked great. In high school I was more than 100 pounds overweight. By my senior year I think I was the heaviest in my school of 1500. I was picked on like you might guess for my weight. I ended up losing all the weight and hit the gym hardcore, building up a nice physique. At my 10 year it was crazy seeing how many of the skinny guys who had picked on me were now really overweight. So many dad bobs. In high school, there was a girl I envied because she was the stereotypical popular girl. Blonde hair, blue eyes, full of pep. She had dreams of going to medical school and being a pediatric cardiologist. She was a star in my dance class, the lead in the plays. She could sing. She took advanced placement classes. She was nice too. On our senior trip at the end of senior year, she told me about how shed takes speed to be up for days at a time, so she didn't have to sleep and could do so much. She never went to college. She looks really bad. Had a few babies, one of them born addicted to drugs, I believe. She walks around town with her head down, all in black. She doesn't talk to anyone. It's really really sad honestly. Just the overwhelming amount of obesity. Just the sheer number who had kids straight out of school and live shooty lifts, felt really sorry for all those kids. I'm not sure what was worse, the guys who were full-fledged middle age at 28 or the guys who were still exactly the same trench coats and toffets included from high school at 28. Man reading this just makes me realize how lucky my class was. The girl I had a massive crush on is recently engaged to a guy who looks perfectly decent. She travels, works as a nurse, and is somehow even hotter than she was in high school. My high school sweetheart is married to a guy who runs a respectable business and lives on the beach in Florida. My core group of best friends all keep in touch and we see each other regularly. I live with one of them, and she and her partner are getting married next year. The one dude we all thought would be a frick up joined the air force, now works in private computer security, has a wife and three kids, and is doing great. One kid who was damn near murdered in a drug deal gone bad in high school got clean, and teaches karate down in North Carolina. Even the townies are doing alright. Many of them hitched up with their high school sweethearts, and are making it the best they can in the town they know and love for whatever reason. We have of course several folks out of the closet, including one who transitioned, but they all seem to be doing just fine. Went to my 10 years a while back, flew from New York City back to my little one horse town in Tien. Wasn't sure if the trip would be worth it, but it was. Reunion was held at a local bar and everything was normal for the first half of the night. Caught up with a few old friends, had some drinks, and talked about life. Toward the end of the evening, one of the old class clowns whips his deck out and smacks another guy, who is seated, right in the face with it. Other guy retaliates by chucking his beer, and a drunken brawl ensues. Apparently the class clown had a tremendous drinking slash drug problem since high school and no one else seemed that surprised by his actions. Last I saw he had been jailed for meth after leading the cops on a lengthy chase. Sometimes, the saddest thing is how certain people never change. Though seeing that deck slap really did make the trip worthwhile. Edit. Obligatory thank you for the gold. A first for me. Yeah I'll really love a good deck slap story. Glad I could bring some humor to an otherwise grim subject. A lot of you are wondering on location. Since my graduating class was very small and there are many comments about sexual assault, I'll simply say that it is somewhere in the southeast, and when I say one horse, I really mean it. This is a funny story, but don't ever, for any reason, whip your deck out in public and slap someone with it. And if you have an addiction problem please seek help or talk to someone. Zuxo. Ex-girlfriend of mine was murdered by the boyfriend that came after me. He used to beat the hell out of her, and she always had an excuse. She finally made up her mind to leave him when he went to work the next day, and that night he killed her, then blew his head off. Sucks. I really liked her, and at one point thought we would have had a future together. Two stories one coming up on my 40th, have never been to any of them, zero interest. Last year, 
started receiving email notifications that someone was putting together the 40th class reunion and wanted to verify contact information and life change updates, etc. The person in charge of the reunion was actually someone I knew from school graduation size of 600, so I supplied some information per the request and was kindly kept in the loop of the details of the upcoming reunion in June. Three weeks ago, received an email that the person that was ramrodding the whole damn thing dropped out for whatever reason and subsequent emails with new emerging details would be forthcoming. Since then, nothing, nada, zilch. I live in the southwest, and graduated on the east coast, was actually seriously thinking of making the trip, not now though. To about 10 years ago, when I first started to get introduced to Facebook, I started looking up old friends, acquaintances, and co-workers to see hos who and what's what. Found my old high school girlfriend, and sent a friend request. Months went by without a response, then one day I noticed the friend request had been approved followed by a message apologizing slash explaining why there was a delay from one of her kids. The message went on to say that she had been fighting cancer and had recently lost her battle. I was saddened to learn that news followed by the numerous condolences from family and friends, albums of photos throughout the years, and one particular album from her school years including pics of us together 30 years prior. Took me quite a while to stop thinking about her. Man it really doesn't matter how hot you were in high school, if you don't take care of yourself your looks will go to shoot. A girl I graduated with was a beach in high school. She became an even bigger beach post college. Our respective husbands graduated the same year, so we ran into each other at their reunion. She made eye contact with me, so I, being a mature and forgiving 28 year old, waved hello. She flipped me off and rolled her eyes at me for the rest of the night. Her husband cheated and left her a few months later. I didn't feel too bad overall. Suck it, Jen. She looked like a cross between a Stepford wife and a Barbie. Perfect Macupe, blonde blowout, pink Manny PD, the works. Six inch heels, and minding two kids under two while her husband who none of us knew partied across the room and didn't lift a finger. No career, no friends, no hobbies other than TV and parenting, no social media, email. Oh, I guess I have an email address. I never use it though. I don't know how to describe how eerie it was. She was always a quiet person, but it was like all the personality had been sucked out of her. I really hope she's happy. I know some people enjoy the stay at home trophy wife thing but this was next level. I didn't learn this at the reunion, but this is my saddest post high school story. There was a girl that I spent basically my entire childhood in love with. We were close, but I was always too shy to tell her how I felt about her. As she got older she went through a pretty wild phase and was making decision that could really freak her life up and then she got pregnant. She gave birth just a couple days after graduation and just before she turned 18. To make it even harder the baby was born blind. I really thought that was going to be the start to a horrible story but to her everlasting credit she cleaned up her act and I can honestly say she became the standard that I judge good moms by now. She was really great. Because of this though she ended up staying in our little podunk western state 8k person hometown. I left for the marines, and by coincidence, ended up moving to California, and then on to Hawaii, where she had said she always wanted to live. I kept distantly in touch with her, and for quite a while even into adulthood, nurtured the idea of someday starting a relationship with her once I was secure enough to support her family. Well, life didn't really work out that way for various reasons and I ended up married with kids of my own. And she ended up in a long term relationship with the captain of our hometown police department. They had another kid together, though they never got married. I used to invite her and her family to come visit me, but she never took me up on the offer. Then one day in late April a few years back I got the news that she had been killed. She was having relationship problems with her boyfriend a cop, and he shot her in the driveway of her best friend's house before killing himself. I couldn't freaking believe it. I was fortunate enough that her mom asked me to be a pal bro for her funeral. I can't really explain the feeling that gave me, but it was a type of final connection thing, and I'm so thankful I at least was able to have that. It's been a couple of years now, but I still think about her. I miss her terribly still, and it breaks my heart.